This is a, a, a demonstration which we've put together using a, a torque cell mm -hmm. uh, and a digital data acquisition system to sh show the difference in the torque on a 2006, in this case, a 2006 cobalt switch and a new replacement switch. Right, so that's the ignition switch. Correct. This is the actual ignition switch from a 2006 Chevrolet cobalt. Mm -hmm. So once we engage it with the torque cell, right. uh, as I activate the switch, uh, the run light will go from green when it's in the run position to red uh, when the switch goes to the accessory position. And then we'll get an indication or a peak along the graph at the bottom that shows how much torque, how there, much is. torque there is in this switch. So that, that's the torque in that original switch. That's correct. The yellow line, the lower yellow line would be 15 newton centimeters, which is, which is the minimum torque specification for the switch. So, so we can see definitively the torque in this original switch is about 50% less Correct. than it should be. It's about half, right at about seven and a half to eight newton centimeters. Yeah. All right, so now let's, let's it, compare it to... Okay, now if I switch out... Next bit. And This so this is, this is the new switch that you found? Correct. This is a new replacement switch. And if we go through the same exercise. Well, clearly the, the torque is we get far torque. greater, uh, twice Correct. as much. At least twice as high as uh, the 2006 switch. Yeah, and higher than the yellow, which yes. indicates the minimum it should be. Correct. And basically it's approaching uh, the torque specification uh, for the switch, which is the green at 20 newton centimeters. Right. But you can see dramatically the difference between that original switch and the cobalt that, that uh, she would have had Correct. and the one that you found subsequently. Correct. Brooke Melton switch, based on this graph, would have behaved very similar yeah. to the 2006 switch.